one of the project participants named Maria Mahari had previously given up hope of ever finding formal employment because of her physical handicap. She's a widow and she has grandchildren that she looks after. So she participated in the project in the sewing group and has been able to sew bed covers, uh, pillowcases, you know, things that she sells within the community. So she's able to pay for their school fees, able to buy groceries uh, for the family, as well as uh, she's recently started uh, building a permanent uh, structure in which to dwell. Uh, most of the community members in Hatcliffe Extension stay in plastic shelters, but through the proceeds that she's realized from participating in the AFSC uh, program activities, she's been able to buy materials to build a permanent structure. Interestingly, she's caught on to the entrepreneurial uh, spirit in that uh, the project uh, enabled her to get the skill of sewing through the cluster group, but she's also started a secondary project, which is a chicken project. Mm -hmm. So this provides her with food, you know, she can uh, have the chickens that she raised, but she also sells those chickens to make an income, sells them to the community. So this is not a skill that the project directly gave to her, but the power of the idea that I can do this for myself you know, I can move myself from this point to a better point by using my own hands.